So I got some paint for the uh, smooth master cylinder. I got some caliper paint, silver. I think that'll work really well because it, it holds up to brake break fluid. So we do the same thing. We just put a little ghost coat, just lightly paint the part, let that flash, and we'll put another layer on. You can see how nice and smooth it is. It's really going to be beautiful. Now for the brake booster, I got a I got a different vision. I think I'm going to go gold, like the old uh, the old brake boosters were in the 60s. To prep the booster for paint. I'm just going to clean it with simple green and some 320. Just kind of wet sand it with 320 and simple green. That should get rid of the oils. If they put on it to keep it from rusting in the box. Okay, we got the booster all cleaned up. Simple green, 320. And we're just warming it up by the uh, heater. So the part's nice and toasty. We got a mask off the boot here for this thing. And I got a mask off the valve on the front. Another cool thing about using foil for masking is it's a big piece. You can reuse it. You can use it for something small. I think I could use it to cover these studs on the booster or the yeah, shaft. That's a nice piece. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is kind of um, a weird rubbery thing with oils and stuff. I, I just took a piece of cardboard and cut a circle and stuck it in there. I think that'll work. Okay, it. hey, it's all masked off. I used a little piece of cardboard. I jammed it in there to protect that rubber boot. And then I masked the red. One final wipe down with a little rubbing alcohol on a rag. It just ensures that you get all the grease, whatever might have leaked out from the seams. Clean it off really good. Primer. Looks pretty good. Let that cure, and then we'll... Yeah, that's going to look neat. I like the gold. I think that'll be pretty. There's the finished booster. I think it looks pretty cool. That'll look nice with the shiny, um, smooth master cylinder sticking out the front. See the way the light plays off of the smooth master cylinder. Here's the finished uh, master cylinder and booster. I think that's going to look really great in the car. Can't wait to see it. Of course, that's a lot of wrenching. That'll be another video.